Hello again. Storm Ali has brought some serious winds and serious impacts from those winds during Wednesday, mainly across northern parts of Britain. Now, over the next 24 hours, the worst of the winds will ease. Some sunshine will develop across parts of the UK. But we're not out of the woods yet because further wet and windy weather sweeps in by the end of Thursday. And this time it's Wales and England especially prone. But for Wales and England, it's a largely dry end to Wednesday before the cloud thickens and further bouts of rain push into Wales during the early hours of Thursday. Further north, clearing skies as well. The winds continue to be strong across the far north of Scotland in particular in the Northern Isles, 70 mile per hour gust for a time as we begin Wednesday night and go into the start of Thursday. But the worst of the winds do tend to ease away. Further showers in the north and northwest. Clear spells though for much of north of England, Scotland and Northern Ireland and come further south. Clear spells for the far south of England through the night. But this area of cloud and rainfall across southwest England, Wales and central areas. Well, that will be with us first thing on Thursday and it is likely to be a wet start to the day. So let's pick up on that rainfall first thing on Thursday morning. You can see it there across Devon, Cornwall into Dorset, Somerset, Wales, the Midlands. This finger of rainfall, it does ebb away from the southwest, but it continues to persist across much of Wales into the Midlands through the morning and by the afternoon it starts to push into Northwest England and here it's going to be persistent and it's going to stick around for the best part of the day and that means that that rainfall is going to mount up now for parts of Wales and Northwest England 40 to 60 millimetres of rainfall throughout Thursday and over the hills of North Wales and Cumbria well we could see as much as 100 millimetres in places those kinds of rainfall amounts of course can cause localised flooding transport disruption a yellow warning in force. But elsewhere during Thursday, and this is back to Thursday morning, well, a much quieter start to the day across northern England into northern Ireland, central and southern Scotland. Sunny spells, further blustery showers for the far north and northwest of Scotland, but even here the winds will tend to ease a little through the day. So an improved picture across the north. And also for East Anglia in the southeast, although the winds will be picking up through the day, it's going to stay mostly dry, and those winds are coming from a mild direction. So temperatures reaching the low 20s in the south and southeast. But it's the rain across Wales and the northwest that is the main cause for concern throughout Thursday. And then that wet weather pushes into central and southern Scotland as well as Northern Ireland during Thursday evening. By this stage, a particularly heavy band of rainfall moves into western parts of Wales and the southwest and then sweeps its way eastwards through the night. And it's along this area of rainfall that the winds will particularly pick up. Now, especially around coastal areas, we're likely to see gusts of wind associated with this rain of 50 miles an hour or so. A noisy night to come as that wet and windy weather sweeps its way eastwards. And of course, those kinds of wind gusts can cause disruption as they move through during the night. Now, the winds could even get a bit stronger later on Thursday night and as we begin Friday as this low pressure moves away for eastern parts of England. So that's something we're keeping a close eye on. But all in all, the low pressure does clear through. And for Friday, we're left in this blustery northwesterly airflow. And that means that it's going to be cool. We're going to have further gusty winds, but not quite as strong as uh, Wednesday and Thursday night. And we'll also see frequent showers, unstable air eventually reaching all parts. So a mixture of sunny spells and frequent showers, the showers, especially in the north and the west, uh, mixed in with hail and thunder. A lively old day on Friday, not feeling particularly pleasant in that breeze. More unsettled weather to come this weekend. More details of that can be found on the Met Office website and through our social media channels, of course, you can find the 10-day trend. Bye-bye.